So this is the official LEGO phone case. It fits like a glove and looks like it would provide decent protection. But there's only one way to test that. The screen has cracked, but the case has minor scuff marks on it. And if you ever feel like that's not enough protection, you can always simply build more LEGO onto it. You can also make this little stand which will hold up your phone while you eat your breakfast. Or you can make this hand strap to make sure you don't drop your phone in the first place. But yeah, in this video I've spent like $200 and bought almost 20 different LEGO inspired gadgets. And we'll be testing all of them today and decide for each one if they're popping or need dropping. So I think the LEGO case is popping, but because it's only available for all the phones and my newer phone just doesn't fit, it needs dropping. Good thing that that's what it was made for. This is a massive Lego minifig, and just like a regular one, you can move all the limbs as well as the head. Although you definitely can't detach it. Trust me, I tried. But that's not all this is. It's also actually a working flashlight. So let's quickly slap some batteries in it. And with the press of this Lego button, it should light up. Yo, he kind of be flying like Iron Man now. But we do need to test just how bright it gets. So we can use my bathroom as it has no windows. So when I turn the lights off and close this door, it gets really dark inside. And it's actually a little bit scary in here. Okay, so this is how bright the Lego torch is in complete pitch darkness. And this is a phone. Torch. Okay, and it's definitely a lot brighter than the Lego one. But even then, I'd say this is another one that's actually popping because it looks cool and it could be useful in an emergency situation if your power runs out and you need to avoid stepping on Lego. But if you'd rather keep the main lights on, you can use this Lego decorated light switch sticker to make it easier to find. That is pretty cool, I guess. But every real Lego fan knows that stickers are the worst thing invented by humans and you can't even attach Lego to it. Because of that, I'd say this one needs dropping. Anyways, it's getting a bit late. I'm going to bed. And to make sure I wake up on time, I can use this massive Lego brick alarm clock. You can basically just smack it anywhere and it will turn off as it's got these buttons on the bottom that detect pressure. You can also press one of these studs to mute and unmute the alarm. It's roughly 6.3 times bigger than a standard Lego brick. Even all of the studs have the Lego logo on them. But unfortunately, I don't really use alarm clocks anyway, so I'd still say this one needs dropping. I am feeling a bit hungry now, so I'll get some chocolate, break it up, put it in a microwave, and then I can use this Lego silicon tray to make some chocolate Lego bricks for breakfast. Yo, they look cool! But unfortunately, they aren't buildable as the mold doesn't make holes on the bottom of each brick. Though the studs are the right size, but they're a bit too far apart to perfectly fit a minifig. And this looks really cursed. I'd still eat them though. You can also use the tray to make ice bricks to cool down a drink on a hot day. Or you can also make frozen milk bricks. These actually came out looking pretty gross, but you can just put some cereal in your mouth and then pop one of these milk bricks in and the milk will melt in your mouth while the cereal stays crunchy. Although it is a bit cold. That's cold. Overall, I'd say these are popping as there's loads of ways you can use them. If you'd rather eat normally, you can use this Lego cutlery set. They're all stackable with one another. For example, you can use a spoon to pick up butter and then the other end to spread it. But be careful because just like a normal spoon, it will flood your entire house as soon as water touches it. But you can also easily store them or take them with you in the lunchbox or even just your pocket. The only downside is they're way too big to attach normal Lego to it. But even then, I'd say these are popping. If your food is a bit bland, you can use a salt and pepper shaker to spice it up. They hold a decent amount in and are also even stackable, which is really nice for storage. Simple yet effective, these are definitely popping. I am feeling a bit thirsty after consuming all that spice, so I can use this Lego water bottle and fill it up with some fresh H2O. Let's see how many tries it takes for me to flip it. Sixth try. Yeah! Well, it takes six tries to be a bottle flipping god. I want to see if the bottle can keep the water nice and cool, so I'll leave it out in the sun for about two hours. This is me holding a red Lego cup. This is also me holding a red Lego cup. Let's compare how much water each of them can hold. So using the scale, we can see that the life-size cup holds about 250 milliliters. Yeah, using the jug to pour the water into the Lego one, it's definitely not going to work. So I had to use a straw to try and put a drop of water into the cup. There's so little water in there that the scale doesn't even detect it. So yeah, the life size cup is definitely more practical for humans. Hey yo, let's see what height I can pour into it from. This is one foot away, this is two feet away, and this is three feet away. Okay, now I low-key oh gotta God. clean this mess up. I also got these Lego cup earrings. They came in this cute little bag and they are extra cool because they're identical to actual Lego cups but just made into an earring, which means even a minifig can hold them. If this ain't style, then I don't know what is. These are definitely popping. All right, it's been two hours. Let's do a quick taste test. Yeah, this bottle isn't really insulated, so the water is gross and warm. And because it is quite old, the bottle actually stinks a little bit. I think it needs dropping. I think I still have some chocolate stuck in my teeth. So I'm going to use this original Lego toothbrush to quickly give them a brush. Remember, minimum two minutes of brushing. 
Fashion. Nice, clean and fresh. So this toothbrush is actually a collab between Colgate and Lego from 2003. The handle is meant to be a fire rescue truck and the minifig inside is an actual fireman. Does look a bit different from your normal minifig, but honestly, I kind of like it. And it still attaches to normal Lego, which makes it for easy storage if you don't want to keep it inside of the toothbrush. This one is popping for sure. This is a Lego minifig soap bar. It comes in a nice little bag and I'm not going to lie, it actually smells really good. This one is lemon flavor. I feel like it looks so cool to a point where I wouldn't even want to use it, but we should test how quickly the detail is lost. So I'll just start washing my hands and after over a minute of constant use, it pretty much looks the same. It has turned all of the water yellow though. I would say this one is popping, but I actually hate soap, so I'm dropping it. Sigh, dropping it right into my bath. Oh yeah, now this is nice. What's up guys, it's Quandale Dingle here. This might look like a normal Lego brick, or not, it does actually look a bit scuffed. It's actually a little USB drive, and if you plug it into your computer, you can actually save files onto it. When you're done transferring your important files, you can simply put the cap back on and throw it into your Lego pile. But I am going to say this needs dropping though, as the build quality isn't the best. And it's actually really easy to accidentally take out the internal electronics from the brick. So some of you might have a memory of chewing Lego rubber parts as a kid, like tires for example. Hey yo, this is busted. Well, this is a product made just for that. It comes with a necklace that you can hang around your neck and you can start chewing away whenever you feel like it. It's got a bunch of different textures to try out, but it does taste a bit plasticky. Let's see if my dogs like it. Yeah, I guess so. I'd say this one is dropping as it is a bit weird, not gonna lie. This is a stationary set. Comes with a little sticker pack. I can finally Legofy my toaster, microwave, oven, and the cup. There's also two notepads in the box. One of them is lined and the other blank. Useful for taking notes with my Lego pen to which you can actually attach a minifig to. Further in the package, there's also a couple of pencils and then this oversized clown minifig. This minifig doesn't actually let you move the legs, but if you pull out the head, it does actually transform into a properly functioning pen. It is a bit awkward to hold, but it does actually work as it should. And then whenever you're done, you can simply just slot it back in. You can actually see the pen through the back of his legs. Another cool thing is that the clown can actually hold the pencils for you. I'd say this one is definitely popping, even just for the amount of stuff you get with it. This is a little art set that you can use to keep all of your stuff organized. The whole thing spins, and then this minifig head in the center also doubles as a pencil sharpener. We can test it with the pencils we got from the last product, but I am a bit lazy, so let's see how fast the drill can sharpen it. Wow, okay, I mean, that was actually pretty fast. So this is before, and this is after. Nice, now it's the perfect usable size. Okay, if you do open the head, make sure not to pour it onto your hand. I'd say this one is popping because the sharpener is really good and the storage is decent. And bonus points because it actually spins. All right, so the next few products actually allow you to connect Lego to them. This is a Lego compatible glasses set. There was actually three boxes included, even though I only ordered one. Nearly all of the surface available lets you build Lego on top. We should see how many Lego sets it can support. This is one Lego set. This is two Lego sets. It's getting quite heavy now. And this is three Lego sets. No! Oh. My bonsai tree! Poor bonsai tree, unfortunately, didn't make it. Also, the plastic does feel quite cheap, and the watches don't even work, so I think this needs dropping. This is just normal sticky tape, but it actually lets you build Lego on top of it. It even comes with these little grooves, which make it easy to cut and trim. And if you stick a bit on top of the door frame, you can use it to place minifigures upside down. You can also make this cool key holder by sticking some of the tape on the wall. Then you can make these little Lego hangers, which you can attach your keys. Then it's as simple as clicking the keys into place. You can also grab your shoes, stick the tape around them, and start decorating them with different Lego pieces. Hey, yo, these are dripping. You can also make your own cupboard handles with it. So this Lego tape is definitely popping in my opinion. This is a full size cap, which is Lego compatible. In the box, there was also this random minifig. I guess this is a little free gift because if you look on the listing, there's literally no mention of any additional minifigs. Besides that, we also get a smaller bag of these mini studs and we can use them to actually make up the Lego logo on the front of the hat. I just quickly want to count the number of studs on the brim. Okay, so there's 214 of them. So you definitely have quite a lot of area to build Lego onto. This is what it looks like with some custom decorating. I'd say this hat is for sure popping. Let me know which of these products you'd actually use. Sub for more and bye bye.